231,000 subscribers. I know I did it wrong and you learn from your mistakes. Big old smiley face and it says no biggie. This from a year ago. She's saying that she learns from her mistake, but clearly you don't. Yo. Lucy Davis Fit. I've never heard of you. That is until a couple of days ago where YouTube decided to serve me up a video titled, I trained like the fittest woman on earth, Tia Claire Toomey. Brutal. At that point in time, it had 10,000 views or something, so I clicked on it, and then I saw that you had quite a good following yourself. 231,000 subscribers. I go on over to your Instagram. You've got 500,000 or so followers. The only way that I thought that maybe I didn't know who you were was that you were somebody who was not involved in the CrossFit space whatsoever. And then I was right. Found that out pretty quickly after watching one of your intros, which I'm gonna just start right now. Today we are training like the fittest woman in the world. See Clara to me. I have actually trained like her before, but you guys have requested I think it was literally like maybe a year and a half ago that I actually did it. Okay. I'll probably play that thing a couple of times through because right in the beginning of the video, Lucy Davis, who I've never heard before, says that she's trained like Tia Toomey before. And I watched the whole video, knew that I wanted to cover it in some way, shape, or form. I wasn't quite sure, and I've gone through different ebbs and flows of how I wanted to go about this. But the umbrella in which I think that this whole thing needs to sit is this is good. Lucy Davis, who I've never heard of, who is in the fitness world with a bunch of subscribers doing CrossFit is good for CrossFit. Now, the way that it's being done can 100% be done better and I'm going to try to be as gentle as I can but that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be gentle at all so again she says that she's trained like her before and and welcome back to my channel I today's video the fittest woman on earth not just an actress looking great for a film it's the fittest woman on earth and it's Tia Clara Toomey. I hope I've said that right. I wanted to do one of her full CrossFit sessions today. You guys always ask me, or oh, would you ever compete in CrossFit? I really probably would not. It's just, I don't know what it is. I love, I love, I love my high rocks. I love my wads. There's just something about the Olympic lifting that I'm just not, it's a, hmm. I'm very excited to train like her today. We need to choose an outfit. Really excited to train like her today is what she says again. She also states right there that she doesn't want to or intend on doing CrossFit, but she has already stated that she's trained like Tia before. She says that she does high rocks. She knows what wads are, workouts of the day. Not really my favorite word. I prefer Metcon, I prefer workout. Just work out. Never been a big wad fan. But also in that bit from two years ago that I pulled and shoved in there, she talks about how she isn't an actress. And this person, Lucy Davis, if I filter through her YouTube a little bit, you'll see that she trains like a lot of different people. She's got ones where she's trained like the freaking Black Widow and The Rock and Brad Pitt from Fight Club and Rihanna, The Witcher. She just kind of trains like people. Jason Staten, Adele, Thor, Spider-Man. She trains like everybody. James Bond. I like all of these people. Not Khloe Kardashian but I like everybody else. So that's what we're dealing with right here. She's training like Tia to me because it's just kind of what she does. I don't want you to tell us what you do. I want you to tell us who you are. What? Definitely, definitely the Metcons. These are Metcons 8s and do you know what? I, I like Metcons. Good ones to choose. I actually really rate them. I think they're a really good shoe. Sports bra wise, I feel like CrossFit is definitely where. You know like a, skim, a skimpy sports bra? We're going to go right skimpy today. Or, oh, ready. I feel like I definitely need joggers and a jacket because these are really short. Just straight up says that CrossFitters wear skimpy stuff, which probably isn't not true. Just take your shirt off as soon as you can, right? The second you start sweating, that's my deal. Got my Noco in hand, so this is the new Noco flavor. It's called okay, Ramenade. I have a Noco because I feel like that's very also very CrossFit. Plug that one in because she's also trained like Matt Fraser, which I've clicked on. I've tried to do my research on her, and by doing that, I've watched three of her videos. Three of them were this Tia Toomey one, the previous Tia Toomey one, and one where she trains like Matt Fraser for a day. And in that one, she's also got the Noco, which I believe is a product from over the freaking pond. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Shit about fuck. But just a shameless plug for that company. And she can. Do you know what? It is delicious. I feel like as I'm training like Tia Clara to me today, she would have a knocko because I feel like they are very much CrossFit. We are on our way to the very, gym very CrossFit. To this session. It's got like 10 different I'll just touch something, sorry. It's got like 10 different sections in the workout, and I feel like I did Matt Fraser as well. Go back and watch that if you haven't already. Right here is where I want to plug in where she actually grabbed this from. And like I do, I want to figure out exactly what it is that I'm talking about. So she trains like Tia. 
correct? I was wondering because she never really states it, but it isn't from the proven track. She didn't download an app. She didn't get it from some post on Instagram. She got it from a YouTube video. The YouTube video is from two years ago and Shane actually does a pretty good job of breaking it down. It's written on a whiteboard, so I screen grabbed it and she says it's 10 separate parts, which it isn't. So what we're gonna do this morning, got a quick warm up to go through, just warm up the body, followed into a, a barbell complex piece into a strength piece of just back squats, pure strength, and then we're just gonna finish the morning off with a conditioning bike leg piece. Main focus today is the back squats and we're gonna build up to a heavy, which we haven't done in a while. It's three or maybe four separate parts. There's a warm up, there's a strength piece, which isn't any longer strength piece the way she does it, but she'll bring it into. I don't know where she got the Metcon from, I can't find it. There's a core workout and then there's a bike workout, which she just completely acts like it isn't there anymore. It doesn't matter. Also, while you're here, subscribe, like the video. If we get, well, this could be bold, 4,000 likes, I will make it happen one day that I collab with Tia Cloud too. Could you imagine me and her collabing? But if we get 4,000 likes, so drop this video a like right now. I don't really get that because at this point in the video, it's got 2,000 something likes and she keeps on bringing it up. Like the video, like the video. I mean, maybe I should tell you guys to like the video, but how about this? Everybody at this point dislike my video. I want to see what happens if everyone just dislikes it. If you it made it this far, dislike the video. Every time that she says like, please dislike my video. I want to see how negative this thing can get. I think my worst ever is actually on the Tia Two Me Natty or not that I made. That was like seventy-eight percent likes. I would like to get a worse score on this video. We arrived at the gym and we're gonna hit the gym. We're gonna hit gym hard this morning. Her se the second she put on these AirPods Maxes, I was wondering if it was just for the warm. Up, but if you're going to be doing a legitimate CrossFit workout, whether it be Olympic weightlifting or a Metcon, whatever, you're not going to be able to keep those sons of bitches on the entire time. So you know that it's probably not going to be a true 100% go get them sort of CrossFit workout. Passion. I mean, the good thing is, and it's a positive thing, I'm just going to show you. Look how many sections there are. Whee! got a lot going on today that didn't even scroll we've just got a lot going on okay so we're going to start with now that's interesting i'm going to screen grab it and throw it up in the screen right there but that is a notes section because that got a little confusing for me the first time i thought it was from i don't know the proven app but it wasn't she just kind of wrote down what she did and we haven't gone over this yet we've got stretching warm-up barbell complex and main focus of the session i'm wrapping core somebody holds me okay so we're going to go in with stretching and then the warm ups and the stretching is shoulder circles, stretch your lats, stretch your tricep. And then the warm up is three rounds, 14 Cossack squats, 12 wide stance squats, and then 10 standing Cuban press with dumbbells. I don't know what that is, so I would Google that one. We then have a warm up, which is just using dumbbells, and you do three rounds of one of the things I've never heard of, so we're gonna have to Google along the way. So I would Google that one. Press. No, it's not. I was completely wrong. Oh, so you do this. One. We've never heard of that one, but it's at this point where, and actually the first time I watched it, I didn't get it because I watched the whole thing through and I go, okay, maybe it's likely that she'd never heard of a Cuban press, which isn't all that common to be, have been seen. You got a couple of dumbbells, you're doing, it's basically like a standing YTW is what I call them. However, if you rewind two years, and this is what I found the second time through, she's doing the exact same fucking thing that she had done two years ago. And she states both times, I don't know what they are. I don't know what happens, but maybe this is what happens when all you do is train like other people. You never had any sort of linear progression through it is what you're doing, which people say is one of the biggest beefs with CrossFit is that there's no progression, which is false. Follow a good program, there will be progression. But it's so funny to me that she doesn't ever in this second video, two years after the first video, say that she's doing the exact same thing, which is cool. It'd be like doing a benchmark. I did this workout here and then I repeated it two years later, but she's acting as if it never fucking happened. And this isn't me speculating. She Literally. does not ever say that she did that workout, but she does say that she has no idea what a Cuban press is. I've never heard of, so we're gonna have to Google along the way. Why would Google that one? Hoping that everybody has forgotten that she never did it two years ago. Two, three, ah, oh, oh, okay, so upright row, twizzle, up. And right here, I actually have them kind of set up one right next to one another. She later talks about a hip issue that she's got in her squat. And on the top video, that's the one from two years ago where she's in the gray. And when she squats towards her left, you see that she's not quite moving as well as she is when she squats towards her right. 
And I wonder if that's the hip that she's got the injury on because that might give you a little insight as to why she's got a hip issue present day. But also present day, you'll notice that she's got nowhere near the range of motion that she's got in the video from two years ago. You wonder why. Maybe it's because she doesn't have any progression. She's not always working to hit depth on her squats. She's not worried about posture and position. She does talk about how she doesn't squat all that much anymore. High rocks athletes, lots of running. She does say she has lots of running. So maybe that's got something to do. But as I play this again, you will see that she is not anywhere near as mobile as she was two years ago. She is shredded, like completely different body type than she had two years ago. Not quite as tan, which I don't, sometimes that does have an effect on the way that you look. But she also looks to be, I don't know, three to 5% body fat leaner than she was in that first video. That might have to do with all of the running she's been doing for her high rocks training. Those are hour long events, lots and lots of calories burned when you're training for that sort of thing. And two years ago, everything she's doing is set up within her house which may have been during quarantine COVID time, so maybe she wasn't leaving quite as much. Cool little tent that she's got set up to work out in, though. You'll see that in a minute. This really does not seem healthy for your shoulders. She says that doesn't seem healthy for your shoulders, but it's a warm-up exercise to, designed not to be overloaded, but to prepare the shoulders for what you're about to do. I've just, I've just re-read, re-read the second, well, the, okay, so this is like the first part of the workout. So we've got barbell complex, main focus, and wrap and core. I've read this completely wrong. So we've got a barbell complex piece, two minutes each exercise times four. So two minutes of power cleans, two minutes of hang squat clean, and then two minutes of push jerks, four times. That's 24 minutes straight of just doing this. I don't think I have that capability. Does that mean you do two minutes of each time? You do two minutes of each time six. So two minutes power cleans, two minutes hand squat clean, two minutes push jerks, six times. No, no, no. No, you can't do of each exercise. No, it's not eight sixes. 38 minutes. Okay, we're not gonna be doing that. I reckon it's, how the fuck does that work? I reckon, should we do a minute of each times six? That's 18 minutes. We'll do 18 minutes. So we're gonna do a minute of power cleans, a minute of hand squat cleans, push jerks. What is the difference between a power clean and a hand squat clean? Here we go, YouTube. Happy YouTube, let's get it. Hang squat clean. Power cleans from the floor. Hang is from the knee. Oh no, so it's just like that. So it's just you straight. Okay, this is the entire reason that I wanted to put this video together. The first time I wanted to do a bit on how I think it's good that there's someone who's outside of the CrossFit space doing CrossFit style stuff for everybody to see. However, after I watched the second video, which was actually the first one from two years ago, seeing that she was doing the exact same workout without ever having stated that she had done the exact same workout, that was going to be the way that I put this thing together. After close consideration, after having gone through her entire comment section, after having watched three separate Lucy Davis videos, the spin that I wanted to put on this video was that she doesn't give a shit what anybody thinks. She it doesn't matter what you think! She doesn't want to get any better, and she's clearly getting worse with her movement, which I just stated in her squats. I don't know if she has any realization to this. I don't know her plan. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if she doesn't have anybody in her life who can actually tell her the right or... I don't think right is the right way to ever say anything because maybe everything she's doing has aligned perfectly with her goals and I don't know what those are. So I can't say what's right for her. Andrew Hiller, who's sitting in Chicago, Illinois, not wherever she is, seemingly Europe, would have to say that two years ago, you have a comment in your comment section that states, you did that so wrong, LOL. It's one power clean, one hang squat clean, one push jerk every two minutes for six rounds, building in weight, so 12 minutes, only six of each movement, but it's meant to be heavy and explosive. This is by Audrey from a year ago. Lucy Davis Fit responds. So I know that she saw this thing. And Lucy Davis Fit, 231,000 subscribers. I know I did it wrong and you learn from your mistakes. Big old smiley face and it says no biggie. This from a year ago. She's saying that she learns from her mistakes, but no fucking joke. She's sitting there with who is her boyfriend, her husband, whoever she's with in that tent. They're both saying that this thing is supposed to be 38 minutes long where you do two consecutive minutes of power cleans, then you do two consecutive minutes of hang squat cleans, then you do two consecutive minutes of push jerks. That's so many repetitions. This comment from Audrey right here clearly states that if you are in the world of CrossFit, and I never say everybody knows this because there are always people who get things confused everywhere. But it's stated in the video with Shane as he's standing there by the whiteboard and you can see Tia Toomey lifting really heavy shit. In the video pulled from two years ago, she's got what looks like 215 on the bar. Tia Toomey, being the fittest woman on earth, great as she is, is not doing two consecutive minutes of touch and go power cleans 
and then directly into two minutes of consecutive hang power cleans into two minutes of consecutive push ups for 38 fucking minutes straight. Like wrap your head on the right way, dude. And if you don't want to look at that, listen to Shane talk at the whiteboard. Understand that there's no one on earth, male or fucking female. Male or fucking female who's going to be doing that weight that amount of time for that duration, then you might as well look at your freaking comment section to which you had already responded saying that you learn from your mistakes, but clearly you don't. And I can kind of go off on this one because one of my favorite things to do is look at the comment sections to keep myself level. I go into the comments, I go into Reddit. It's like, hey, what does everyone think about Andrew Hill or how can he always be getting better? But you just do the same freaking thing. I don't get it. And I want to help. Let me help you. Let's keep going. This is just all gone tits up. I read that completely wrong. I thought it was eight minutes. <laughs> That's 24 minutes. No stress. Nobody stress. I'm not stressed. I'm actually paranoid now, guys, that that is a lot. And then she says it right there. It's like, it's all gone tits up, which I think is one of those funny things that they say over there. It's all gone tits up. It's like wanker. I love the word wanker. But she says she did it wrong, but you also knew you did it wrong back then. And you said you did it wrong in the comment section. Ah. A lot of barbell work. There we go. Give myself 10 seconds to try and get into this. Jesus, power clean, hang squat, push. <laughs> it's good weight, this mate. 30 kilos. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> makes me look a bit weak. Lucy, <laughs> never in a million years yeah, no. have you ever looked weak. Literally. Watch medium to a slight issue, guys. That was one round. Two minutes each times four. Do you think maybe it's like the way the way that I'm supposed to be doing this is not like two minutes per exercise, but it's no. The, what I've just done cannot be correct. She physically. Someone's going to push. push. I have a hard time believing that she's being serious. I think that she's trying to drive talk in her comment section. I can't believe that there's somebody out there who's either entirely oblivious to the fact that she did the whole thing wrong twice. The amount of effort that goes into a video, guys, you don't freaking get it. The other day, someone reached out to me and said that there's now a new appreciation for the stuff that I do considering they tried to put a video together. And this shit's not easy. I don't care if it's 10 years later. You're going to remember if you did something like this wrong. But maybe you won't. But if you did, maybe you're doing it for a reason. Maybe she wants people to start like bickering in the comments section about it. Maybe. But I swear to God, I cut out maybe five to eight minutes of her just doing consecutive power cleans. Consecutive hang power cleans because she's not, she's not doing squat cleans. And then consecutive push presses because she's also not doing push jerks. Lucy Davis Fit from wherever the fuck you are in what I'm assuming is Europe somewhere. If you need a CrossFit plug... I'll help you out. I know you're probably not gonna really like this video all this much, but this is kind of what I do. I look at things and I tell you where you can get better. If you don't wanna get better, that's okay. We call those the hip and steels of the world, but if you wanna get better with it, I'm more than willing to help you out. What's it called? Power press. God, CrossFit have a lot of different terminology, don't they? This is also, I feel like it's really winding down. Come on, Lucy, stop procrastinating. Yeah, we got a lot of terminology. I'm trying to flick it off this bit, because I think that's what you do, but I just don't know how to do it. Triple extension isn't as much of a flick as it is a drive into the floor as your knees, your hips extend at the same time, propelling the bar upward with a braced core, tight shoulders down and back, and it lifts the bar up. And if you were to get a CrossFit level one coach, and maybe that's a good way to look at it. If you were to go into a CrossFit affiliate and say, hey, how do I do these things? You could get a coach telling you that it's core to extremity. The extremity being the barbell, you are going to move that object through rapid extension of the hips, which is the center of mass of your body, driving that object out in front of you keep it as close to your body as you can to be more efficient and then learn how to move your body in space to receive that bar if you've watched my videos before you just know that I hate squats and I don't really do them at all anymore I do have a reason I can't really squat properly because of my hip I mean I could but then I wouldn't be able to run like I run so we are gonna do it my PB on squats is 115 which I've not done for two and a half maybe three years which is you know sometimes it's okay to admit that you've got weak on an exercise but I am gonna do four lots of four barbell back squats you guys don't watch me squat so this is exciting make sure you give a thumbs up we need to get that 4,000 likes good point in time for me to tell you to again dislike the video if you didn't dislike it the first time i want to see how many dislikes i can get on a video i plugged in a couple of her different squats right here and she says that she hasn't squatted in two years and i'm really wondering if this video right here is realistically the last time that she squatted looks to be very similar weight her squat when she's in this tent looking thing which like i said is very cool looks pretty freaking good. It looks way better than it does in the modern day gym that she's in right here. But what I'm wondering is if it's because she's doing all of the high rocks training or if she, like she said, she just completely avoids the squat. So we're going in with the first set and I shit you not, I haven't got a lot of weight on. I'm being truthful because
Cow Erg. 10 toaster bar. I don't even know if I can do toaster bar. And then 12 dumbbell single arm snatch alternate. So that is just continuous. That is just continuous. 15 cal erg. I'll probably switch between a salt bike, a ski erg, and row. Oh my god. All right, I'm gonna talk over this stuff because she says that she's going to switch between the different ergs and the assault bike is not an erg. And you're also not supposed to switch between them. And remember, this is also not something that I saw in any one of the videos. I clicked through probably 50 separate videos of Tia's and looked through them to see if I could find a workout that looked anything remotely like this, and I couldn't, which makes me wonder if she just kind of made it up. And something that I noticed in there is that she does the ski erg, and in 54 seconds, she was able to knock out, what, 15 or 16 calories, which is pretty freaking good, if you ask me. That might be because she does high rocks training. And high rocks, they gotta do a ski. I don't know the distance, but 16 calories in 54 seconds. Nothing to joke about. That's pretty freaking good. I wonder what she was doing on the assault bike. She does not know how to do a toes to bar, openly stating in the beginning of the video that she does not do CrossFit. She doesn't know how to go through the hollow and the arch positions, the very common gymnastics movements that you'll learn when you go into a CrossFit affiliate having the level one coach and all that. She's not touching the ground on the dumbbell snatches, which is again something that if it was in a video with Tia or Shane, you could very simply see that you were supposed to do, but I wonder if there's a reason that she isn't doing it. It's cool that she's exposing CrossFit again, but if there is a proper way to do things, you wanna do those things. It's cool that she's doing it. Cool that she's doing dumbbell snatches. I just wanna know how it is those headphones stay on the entire time. Whipping her head around doing the dumbbell snatches, whipping her head around doing the ski erg. Oh, I've lost a nail. She's wearing the whoop, which she plugs at some point in here. Of course she plugs the whoop. Give this video a like. Oh yeah, give it a like. Make sure you dislike this because she lost a nail. Nail, that is a shit time. Okay, so last thing is core, four rounds, one minute rest. 30 second hollow rock hold, five V-ups, 10 hollow rocks. Let's go. No. Oh my God, I can't hold it. Wow. I can't hold it. Here we go. My legs are shaking like a shitting dog. Wow. God. She says that her legs are shaking like a shitting dog and she's kind of funny. She's got a lot of those isms in there where she kind of drops what might be vulgar, funny things that I just really thought were clever, funny, whatever. But she finishes it up with that core workout, which again is something that I didn't see in the original Tia video. I wonder if she pulled that from somewhere else that I just wasn't able to come up with. But you can see that her physique is rather different again. I mean, in the one, there's clearly a difference in the skin tone. She's tanner, which can give your body a different look. She also does, again, appear to be way leaner present day. Maybe that's from the high rocks training. Maybe it's because she doesn't load her body up with the weights that she does in that squatting video, which she has quite a good amount of weight on her back, weight on her back in that tent, whatever that is in her backyard during what I assume is pandemic era. But to do a quick recap on the entire thing, never heard of her before. YouTube goes, hey, Lucy Davis has done a workout by Tia Toomey. I go, all right, I'll click on it. I watch the whole thing. And then after watching it, I remember her saying in the video that she had done it before. So I go to see what it looked like the first time. And lo and behold, it was the exact same thing, which I thought was interesting that she never said that she did the same workout over again. Did she not think that anybody was going to connect those dots? Then you bring it up another level and she does the exact same clean complex, the exactly same incorrect way. This is just all gone tits up. I read that completely wrong. I thought it was eight minutes. <laughs> That's 24 minutes. How the fuck does that work? I reckon, should we do a minute of each times six? That's 18 minutes. That is after having said that in her comments section, I know I did it wrong and you learn from your mistakes, but she doesn't learn from her mistakes. And I think that at some point, watching the movement of this female go down and down and down, seeing the way that she runs her YouTube channel, which by all means, she has 10 times the subscribers that I have. Maybe this is what you need to do. Just kind of do random workouts by random people, but randomness without any sort of thought about getting better at anything, which I don't know is true either. Maybe in a couple of her other videos, she says what she's working towards, and maybe it is high rocks. And if it is high rocks, then it would make sense that some of this stuff she's doing doesn't look as great as it could. I mean, we all know Hunter McIntyre, right? The best high rocks champion running male in the world. And some of his movement patterns on the CrossFit movements look rather wonky as well. He isn't as practiced as people who do it every single day. There is no intention of him being the best CrossFitter. But remember, just like I said in the beginning of the video, it's cool that she's doing it at all. But if she does want to do things, it's what I've always said. If you're going to do something, you might as well try to do it well. Do the best you can with it. If you're going to put all this time into a YouTube video, look at your comment sections. Remember what your people have to say. And if you're going to say you're going to get better, you might as well get better. And I already said it somewhere in here as well. My name is Andrew Hiller, and I believe in fitness. My name is Daniel Lugo, and I believe in fitness. And Lucy Davis, if you want help on some of the CrossFit stuff, you know where to find me. Andrew Hiller, out.